Hello folks, in my latest project I'm using an ESP8266 or ESP32 to run a fast Fourier transform and produce a audio frequency spectrum display in this case using an OLED 0.96 or 1.3 inch version. I'm just going to let the unit run now. Okay, that's been running a while now. Across the top of the display are the frequency bands 100 Hz, 200 Hz, 500 Hz, 1 kHz, 2 kHz, 4 and 8 kHz. Arranged in a classical octave scale like most music. So the fast Fourier transform I'm using converts audio in the time domain and displays it in the frequency domain and uh, there's a peak hold function there you can see as it holds the peak and then decays away you can vary the speed of decay the attack is instantaneous now i'm going to run that whole sweep from one hertz to five kilohertz while the music's playing okay that was quite a challenging display there for the fast Fourier transform to display both the audio and the uh, frequency sweep. This is the wiring diagram, a Wemos D1 Mini, although it can be any ESP8266, an OLED display on the I2C bus. That particular display is arranged so that I can plug in directly into the socket of the uh, D1 Mini. So it's VCC ground clock and data connected with uh, an audio a microphone unit which you can get most places and it either has an analog out or a digital out we want the analog out and you have to adjust that variable resistor for peak audio but I'll include a program that shows you how to adjust for maximum output this is the same wiring diagram but with the display that is more frequently available with the ground VCC reverse but I mean the wiring is the same. Um, probably use DuPont cables for a, for a trial. Um, nothing more I can say to that one. Just make sure you understand or know what are the clock and data pins of the Wemos and uh, change them in the program if required don't have to be D3 and D4 thing the default is D1 and D2 this is the wiring for the ESP32 nothing much to add there is the default for the low limb board the ESP32 low limb board I've chosen the default data and clock lines and it's the same microphone module and um, I think the whole thing can be assembled for about ten dollars things to note about about the fast Fourier transform I've calibrated the software bands um, with my um, audio function generator when using a microphone it introduces harmonic distortions as does the speaker and that tends to skew the the displayed audio higher because it contains the harmonic content which is getting detected um, in my particular setup the, the little um, microphone and the speakers do tend to fall away quite quickly after about two kilohertz so it doesn't favor a flat response whereas my function generator does give a flat response so in summary then the fast Fourier transform library it does a it does a really good job in sampling the waveform and displaying the component frequency parts of the audio the maximum frequency that can be displayed is a function of sampling frequency which is currently set to 10 kilohertz gives a maximum displayed frequency of about 5 kilohertz which is probably adequate for most purposes the display is best suited to an octave display and uh, just to reiterate the audio response of the microphone and the speaker do play a large part in the um, displayed results 
if you feed it directly with audio from a um, say a headphone socket ensuring that the audio level is sufficient to drive the board then you will get a much better result. I hope you found this video useful and the software useful. Enjoy.